Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get this look right here and I'm using a bunch of new makeup which I haven't shown you guys on my channel before um, some of them are like first impressions and I've never used them before some of them are just new things that I've used but I haven't shown to you guys um, there's a whole mixture of stuff in here like drugstore high end um, so yeah, if you want to see what I used in this video, what I thought of everything, and what is on my face right now, then just keep watching. For my foundation, I'm using something new, which I haven't showed you guys on camera. This section of the video is sponsored by Iconic London, which is very nice of them. I'm so happy to be working with them because if you guys have been watching my videos, I've over the... If you guys have been watching my videos recently, or if you've watched any of my vlogs, then you will see that I've been testing out a bunch of different products from Iconic, um, and in this video, I'm going to be using something which I haven't actually shown you guys yet but I've been testing them off camera so these are the pigment sticks which are what I'm going to be using for my foundation and my concealer and my contour today and these come in a bunch of different shades they actually do have shades that are pale enough for my skin thank god so they just look like this they're just like little twist up sticks and you can use them for foundation, you can use them for concealer, you can use them for contour, they also have highlight ones I believe. When I first put one of these on my face I was kind of scared because I don't know, I've always been a bit scared of like cream kind of foundation sticks because I just feel like it's going to be like really thick and like difficult to blend but the first time I put these on my skin I was literally blown away by how nicely it blended and like how full coverage this is like if you want something that is going to cover like everything and give you like a flawless like full coverage base then this is your guy you will see in a second let's put it on my skin so i'm using the shade 2.2 um as my base color for all over my face because this one is pretty much like my foundation and it's a yellow toned color so i'm just doing some stripes and then to blend it out, I'm using one of the Pro Evo brushes by them, and it comes in this really snazzy box. You would have seen this if you watched my vlogs. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Literally, guys, what is wrong with me? Okay, so this is what the brush looks like. As you can see, it is super pretty and rose gold, and it has this kind of handy shape where you can just kind of grip it in your hand, like it's easy to hold on to, if that makes sense. Always a good thing with a brush, even though I end up throwing them on the floor anyway. <laughs> the bristles are super, super soft, and also something to note is these are vegan and cruelty free, so that is always good. So you can use this, these brushes to apply um, liquid foundations, you can use it to apply um, your primer or your moisturizer, basically anything that is like liquid or cream. These work well for, like literally, do you see how easy these pigment sticks are blending into my face? I was so scared when I first put it on because I was like, this is a stick, like it's just not gonna work. But look at that, look at this. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on my nose and my forehead because I wasn't sure how many stripes to do. So because the actual like area of the brush is quite big, it's really quick to blend. The finish I would say is kind of like a demi matte finish. Like it has like a bit of glow to it. It kind of still looks like skin if you get me but it's not completely matte, but it's also like, I wouldn't describe it as dewy, it's kind of like a nice in-between. And to conceal under my eyes, I'm using the shade Zero, which I believe is the palest shade. And I'm just gonna draw some of that under the eyes, and then I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin, down my nose, and then a little bit on my forehead as well. And then again, I'm just blending that. And then to do a bit of cream contouring, I'm going to use the shade 2.1, which is just a little bit darker. And I'm going to be using another one of the Pro Evo brushes, and this one is the Sculpting Brush, I believe. It has the exact same design with the rose gold packaging and the grip, but the shape of it is like this, so it's just better to use for your contour. I'm just adding a little bit at a time because you guys know what I'm like with my contour. I actually think I did a pretty good job of that, you know guys? For my powder, I'm using this Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Flower Setting Powder. It literally comes in like a bag of flour. And okay, maybe I'm not gonna use that because this is in the shade yellow. Okay, so instead of that, I'm gonna use the Lottie London Ready Set Go Translucent Powder. I've never used this before, so let's give this one a go. I 
actually really like that powder. You guys know that I have oily skin, so I have to like powder everything. Um, but I feel like that powder is quite like thin. So for my brows, I'm using the Soap and Glory Archery, but this one is um, the two-in-one pencil and brush. I haven't used this particular one, which is the tiny little pencil in years. I used to use this all the time when I was at school. Um, and from what I remember, it's a really nice cool toned blonde shade. I really like the color of this pencil. If you guys have blonde hair, but you don't want your eyebrows to be too warm, and this is a really nice kind of like ashy blonde color. I am a big fan of this brow pencil. Okay, so I am just gonna add a tiny, tiny little bit of powder bronzer just because uh, when I did my base, I didn't add as much cream contour as I would have liked because I got scared. So I'm gonna use the Kiko Duo Bronzer in the shade Bright Life. And this is from their fall collection. I have never used this bronzer before. I'm just gonna add the tiniest little bit because most of my contour is already there. For my highlighter, I'm using this Beauty Bakery Illuminator in the shade So Icy. And again, this literally comes in like an ice cream tub. Um, and it's like in a little cardboard thing, so I'm guessing I just, I'm quite scared that this is gonna be too dark. Oh, whoa, okay. Yeah, that is definitely too dark. I'm so glad I didn't put more on because like, is quite intense it's super like glittery it kind of reminds me of that shimmer dust that you would put on your body when I don't know when I was like 10 it is pretty but I don't know it's just a little bit too shimmery like you can see the little flecks of glitter on your face so instead I'm gonna take a little bit of this um, highlighter palette from boohoo they've just come out with a bunch of makeup and this is their glow palette I'm gonna take a bit of this shade here and I'm just gonna add that over the top. Wow, that is actually really nice. Okay, so moving on to my eyes for eyeshadow palette. Um, I have a bunch of new ones here from NYX and I think these have just come out. Um, these are their, what are they called? Elements palettes. So they have Fire, which is probably my favorite one. Fire just looks like this. It's got a bunch of fiery shades. There's then metal which has some of the most incredible looking shimmers in it. Then earth is this one here, it's a bit more kind of brown and burgundy. And then the final one is wind which is probably my least favourite so I'm not going to use this one. I normally go for something orange so I think today I want to do something a bit more kind of purple and burgundy. I think I'm going to go for the earth palette just because I can see a few like pretty burgundy shades in here. And the brushes that I'm actually using are the iconic brushes um, because I've been using these for the past couple of weeks and I friggin love them. So I'm taking the shade here just as my transition. Wow. Okay, that was a lot bolder than I thought it would be. I'm just going to blend the edges of that out. And then taking the shade here, which is a really pretty purpley sort of colour. Or purpley pink. Whoa, look at that. These shades are so pigmented. Let's take some of the palest shade. And just use that to blend out the edges. I'm gonna take this more flat brush and then I'm gonna go in with the actual burgundy matte shade here. And hopefully this one will come out a bit darker on the eyes. Just gonna put this all over my lid. And let's hope this blends because I have made a mess. And then I'm going back with my blending brush. And then taking some of the dark brown shade in this palette and I'm just gonna put some of that on my outer corners. I'm also taking the same burgundy shade just along my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna do my classic trick of using some loose powder to clean up the edges a little bit. Okay, that didn't actually work as well that time. I think I'm gonna take some of this bright gold here and I'm just gonna pack that onto my the center of my eyelid, if I can find my brush. Hmm, not the biggest fan. Actually no, it's working better on this eye. Shimmers just always work so much better. 
and you apply them with your finger. Then for my inner corners, I'm gonna take the Metals palette just because there wasn't really a shade that I could use on my inner corners from the other palette. I'm going to take this shade here and I'm gonna put that one on my inner corners. This is super intense. So next for my eyeliner, I'm using the Boohoo liquid liner. Let's see what the brush is like. Please be a brush, please be a brush, please be a brush. Yes, it's a little brush. Hmm, not bad. The brush is a little bit thicker than I'd like it to be, but it actually worked really well. For my mascara, I'm going to try the Urban Decay Troublemaker mascara. And this is the one that is marketed as sex proof. Ooh, the packaging is quite cool. It's kind of multicolored. It has a plastic brush. Wait, I think it has fibers in it. Cause I can see, I don't know if it's supposed to have fibers in it or whether that's just like some random hairs. It's quite a wet mascara and the brushes are quite long. So I feel like, ah, it just poked into my eye. My lashes look pretty nice though. It's quite a wet mascara. Okay, so it did take some building and it is quite clumpy and like it's a little bit tricky to work with because it's so wet, but I really like how that made my eyelashes look. I feel like they look really good. I'm gonna go for the Lottie London Stay All Day Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hey Bay. It smells like orange juice. Okay, so that is the finished look. The lip color, I did have to apply two coats to get like full pigmentation. But I do really like the colour. I feel like it's very me. What do you guys think? Everything in this video has been successful. Like, I literally, I got on with everything in this video. So, here is a close-up of my face. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel down below as well. I will link all of the products that I used, including the link to the pigment sticks from the Iconic London website. That will all be linked in the description box. Um, so, make sure you go check those out if you're interested. Um, yeah, I I am pretty happy with how this look has turned out. I feel like it's super autumnal, which is a surprise coming from me. So, I hope you are all well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!